Apex Legends to add vehicles for the first time. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are holding back Cyberpunk and Warzone will not be part of Black Ops Cold War at launch. Hello everybody and welcome to Gamer Connect. You guys are watching yet another episode of Top Gaming News. My name is Gaming Manus and let's just jump into these news of the week. Apex Legends are coming with a new season that is season 7 which includes a new map, a new legend and more exciting things. I love how Apex Legends is innovating themselves with every new season they are bringing with new events. It's very exciting and I love that. After a long time, Apex is bringing a new map called Olympus which looks more colorful and not only that is floating in the air actually. This time around there will be no mountains of any kind and is much larger. Along with that, this time Apex is going to add vehicles a three-seater Trident Hover Buggy. It's not armed and you cannot deal damage by hitting anyone with it, but you can plant your gadgets on there. Like Rampart, you can plant turret and shield, gas traps by Caustic, shield by Gibraltar, and any other gadget that you plant normally can be planted in there, which is absolutely amazing. It also makes it more action-packed and more fast-paced, but there's one thing, and that is King's Canyon map is actually not gonna be there in this very season. Apparently this season they don't want to add King's Canyon map and if it ever returns, it will be a changed map. Similar to how map was changed after World's Edge map was launched. Of course they have a new legend named Horizon. Her abilities allows your teammates and enemies as well to fly in the air for a bit. And her ultimate is kind of a black hole that pulls people in just like Zarya in Overwatch. So that means they cannot move. I'm really looking forward for this new season and I can also unlock this new character because I have enough points to unlock this character. I think they are called points, I'm not so sure. Season 7 will be launching this Wednesday and the day after that is when Apex Legends will launch on Steam. You can already wishlist this game right now on Steam, so go get it. This month is the launch of Xbox and PlayStation consoles and both of these are being hyped up a lot. With that being said, Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, says that the first party Xbox Series X game will be launching on PC as well. I mean that's not a new thing because usually nowadays all the Xbox games they are eventually coming to PC or are also made for PC. Phil Spencer talked about how consoles were closed platforms until they moved to Xbox Series X games and PC. If they ship first party games, it will be coming to PC and if a game is coming to PC, it will come to Steam and their own store. He says that every game they make will have cross-platform the way things have developed right now. The main thing around here is how Microsoft is thinking in a different way to include or even grow the community of Xbox. They want people to play on Xbox, that doesn't mean the console, but someone who logs into the Xbox ecosystem. So whether you have a console or Xbox Game Pass or maybe just buying from Xbox Store and PC, that is the most important thing and when that happens they want to make sure that they improve on every single thing so that the ecosystem grows and grows and that's why they want to add this cross platform which I believe is amazing. Right now they also have xCloud where you can play on Android phones but unfortunately it hasn't been launched all over the world and will definitely take more time. So having these first party games or maybe third party games that you can play even if you don't own a console, even if you only own an Xbox Game Pass, that is absolutely incredible. In this way it doesn't force anyone to buy a specific something to play a specific set of games. What do you guys think about Xbox and its game? I am very much looking forward to all the Xbox game, especially because of the Xbox Game Pass, it's, it's one hell of a deal. Cyberpunk has been delayed once again and will be coming on December 10th even though they promised that there will be no delays. Well I guess their motto is promise are meant to be broken. It's, it's going really good. I mean this is definitely sad and unfortunate that this has to happen and we have to wait for a few days but people are sending death threats to the company and to the devs which is just not good. Yes, the game is being delayed again, but it is actually better to play a game with very less to zero bugs rather than playing a game which has more bugs and you just have to complain and then review bomb the game. I mean if you don't play this game on the specific date and wait for like maybe 2-3 weeks, your life is not gonna end, it's not gonna disrupt the way you're living life or things are not gonna change, you just have to wait and be patient about it. But the biggest reason for this delay is that they're releasing this game in 9 different platforms. So testing on each of these platforms to make sure that there is no issue whatsoever when they're playing the game is definitely hard. 
According to co-CEO of CD Projekt Red, the game is ready for PC and next-gen consoles, but they are delaying it because of Xbox One and PlayStation 4 consoles, and they still need to work on it. He says that they could release the game on the scheduled date in November, but they want to release the game everywhere in the same date instead of releasing it in another date for other platforms. There are some quality issues that they still face which they need to fix. With these weeks that they have added to polish the games, the devs are actually crunching harder, which the co-CEO said that it's not that bad but then later on apologized in an email that he sent to his employees, saying that this was not the thing that he should have said. Last year, CD Projekt Red promised that there would be more of a humane approach to crunch but that changed quickly as more reports came in from employees that they just completed a 100-hour week. They even announced at one point that there will be no mandatory crunch for the game only to make it mandatory later on. Crunching means you have to work double the time that you're working normally. Maybe you even have to work in the weekends and that's definitely tough to only working for a particular project for so long time. That definitely endangers the health and the well-being of an individual. It definitely sucks to see that they have to go through this time in order to make the game the way they want to make it even though it has been delayed so many times. But I hope that the game comes out good and I believe that the game is going to be good but let's see. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is coming out on November 13th and very recently Activision released a PC trailer for the game that showcases what all things they will be adding to the PC version which is actually amazing. It looks like the game will have more optimization just like Modern Warfare which is absolutely amazing and I believe there is more options than Modern Warfare somehow. The game is also less demanding than it was in beta. The minimum requirements say that you need an Intel i3 processor with an 8GB of RAM and the recommended requirement says that you only need i5 2500K processor with 12GB RAM. So if you have a 1050Ti graphics card and an i5 processor, you're good to go, I believe. That is one thing that I love about the new COD game which are more friendly to the PC but not, you know, lowering the quality of the game. I mean, I know that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War's quality is a little bit down than that of Modern Warfare but still, it's not bad. One thing that will take some time to come to the new Call of Duty is Warzone. Warzone won't be available right away because it will be available sometime in December. Activision already announced that Warzone will be a part of Black Ops Cold War with all the progression and post-launch updates will also be free. The key is that nothing will be left behind and everything will be available that you unlocked from Modern Warfare. Are you guys going to buy Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War? Let me know in the comments below. And speaking about the new Call of Duty game, apparently there is a rumor going around that next year, the new Call of Duty game will be a Modern Warfare title. I mean, of course, Modern Warfare ended in a way that screams of a sequel. So I believe it's going to be the rebooted Modern Warfare 2. So now we're going to have two Modern Warfare 2. That's amazing, Activision. Far Cry 6 was revealed a few months ago in Ubisoft Forward and everyone was excited because the villain is Giancarlo Esposito. But now Far Cry 6 has been delayed and it will be coming out in 2021-2022 fiscal year and that is happening due to the pandemic. It's not really Far Cry 6 but the spin-off of Rainbow Six Siege that is Rainbow Six Quarantine is also delayed to the same time period. Far Cry 6 originally was supposed to be released on February 18th, 2021 and on the other hand, Quarantine doesn't even have a release date. So it's expected that these games will be released sometime after April 2021. They believe that if Pandemic wasn't here, then the game would have been released in a set date but right now, they need to make sure the well-being of everyone. And speaking of more Ubisoft games, the CEO of Ubisoft says that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is going well in production and also that there is a Netflix movie that is being made from this game. So progression has been going on and it's all going good. Although we don't have any news on how the game is progressed and, and when the game is gonna come out. Now going to a completely different game, Insomnia Games added Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse suit in Spider-Man Miles Morales and the trailer they showed was so cool because they reduced the FPS to match it with the FPS or the, the view of how Spider-Verse was, it's absolutely incredible. And Sony even showed a gameplay footage of uh, Spider-Verse suit in Spider-Man Miles Morales and it actually is, you know, in a lower FPS so it feels like I am playing a Spider-Verse version of Miles Morales. That's that's so cool and I cannot wait for this game to come out even though I, I won't be able to buy it but 
hopefully in the future i will well that is all we had to talk about in this episode of top gaming news hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like if you did not you can leave a dislike and you can also comment down below where you can let us know about everything we just talked about in this episode and do not forget to subscribe to gamer connect and hit that notification bell icon because more new content are coming out every single week well my name is game manners and i'll see you guys in the next episode take care and happy gaming